This is a video to show you how to add on the suggestion bar on Keyboard Designer if you choose to use it. This is more of a supplement to my guide on how to use Keyboard Designer to create a passport inspired virtual keyboard on the Titan 2, although it applies to any design out there. Go back into the designs tab and scroll down to word bar. You'll see it's by default invisible. Change your language to your language desired. For me, it's going to be English. Now for the layout, I like my suggestion bar on the top. I'll leave everything else the default values, but if you like it taller or you want bigger fonts, you can play with this to see how it looks like. The only thing I like to adjust is the separator area. I like it a little wider so it's easier to make my selection. Down here is a word lamp, which I'm not 100% sure how it works, so I'll just leave it out. Hit OK to accept. You can play with the colors if you like. I leave it alone. Now scroll down to Word List Management and it'll take you to the Words tab. On the top here, you'll see a import words list option. Click on show. It'll take you to their website where you can download a words list of the language you select. Accept the usual cookies, notification, and I'm going to click on the English word list download. Your browser should pop up with a window to ask to download the file. And I'll click open once it's already downloaded. Android should ask you if you want keyboard designer to open this download, which is a zip file. I choose to let it open just once. And now Keyboard Designer asks if I want to import this words list. It says English and how many words are there? 53,153. Click on import and you're done. You can now go to the test page and try it out. As you see here, I'm typing in B-A-N-A -A and banana shows up. I can just click on banana and it will input banana in the text field with a space after it. If you followed my tutorial video, you might remember I mentioned there's a little quirk to using this suggestion bar when you type. And here's an example. I type in H-E-L because I want to input hello. I select hello from the suggestion bar and it inputs hello with a space on it. Now, according to the keyboard designer app, it senses that I chose a word suggestion. Now, when I enter in the exclamation mark by long holding the number one in my design, it knows I'm entering from the virtual keyboard and it will back up a space and put in the exclamation mark because it knows that the last entry was a word suggestion and that there's an extra space on there if it just enters the exclamation mark. However, now a situation comes up where I type in hello, use the word suggestion to finish hello but I continue on but I'm using the physical keyboard to type in my next word which is there because I want hello there and naturally I won't put a space there because I want to put an exclamation mark but if I put in the exclamation mark using my virtual keyboard the keyboard designer app does not know or does not sense that I have extra entry since I use the physical keyboard and not the virtual keyboard so when I use the exclamation mark on the virtual keyboard it still thinks that the last entry was the suggested word with an included extra space so when I use the exclamation mark it will delete one character back and then put the exclamation mark and in this usage it deleted the e and putting an exclamation mark. So be aware that this happens when you use this feature.